The U.S. government is blaming Iran for the attacks on two tankers in the Gulf of Oman. Now the United States says it will be forced to respond if Iran continues to strike civilian targets. Mary Maloney reports. Plumes of smoke rise into the sky as flames spread on a ship. This and another tanker attacked as they sailed through a busy and strategic shipping lane. The United States blamed Iran, but officials didn't provide evidence. The Islamic Republic of Iran is responsible for the attacks that occurred in the Gulf of Oman today. According to the International Association of Independent Tanker Owners, the ships were hit at or below the waterline in a well-planned and coordinated strike. All crew members on the two ships were safely evacuated. A defense official says a U.S. Navy ship spotted an unexploded mine on the side of one of the tankers. It's the same type of mine suspected in the attacks of four other ships in the same region less than a month ago. Taken as a whole, these unprovoked attacks present a clear threat to international peace and security. At the time of the attack on a Japanese-owned ship, Japan's prime minister was in Iran, meeting with the supreme leader in an effort to calm tensions between Washington and Tehran. Iran's foreign minister tweeted, suspicious doesn't begin to describe what likely transpired this morning. Foreign Minister Zarif may think this is funny, but no one else in the world does. All six ships hit near the most important route in the world for oil. A defense official says additional U.S. Navy ships will be deployed to patrol and provide security. Iran should meet diplomacy with diplomacy, not with terror, bloodshed and extortion. In Washington, I'm Mary Maloney reporting for Newsnet.